Universities claim to promote diversity, but CampusReform.org found that politically liberal commencement speakers outnumber politically conservative commencement speakers four to one. We're in Springfield, Illinois to find out if Illinoisans can follow that logic. Do you think diversity is something that should be celebrated? Yes, I do. Definitely. Yes. I do. Yes. What about a diversity of ideas? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. To an extent, we can't have dangerous right-wing opinions. I do agree with that. Yes. Um, would a commencement address be an appropriate place to celebrate diversity, maybe by having a speaker who has uh, different ideas or different life experiences than those of the faculty and graduates? I do. I always think it's enlightening for everyone in the audience that attends to hear different ideas. I think it's the perfect time for it, yeah. Yeah. don't know if that happens all that often. Um, I think a commencement is a celebration, but not necessarily a platform for political views. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay, good. What if the speaker's ideas offended some people? I think that they just, if they're going to be asked to be a speaker, I think they have to really think through what they want to say, how, how they want to come across, how other people might perceive it. And they think they have to just really be careful. I think everyone has different ideas and opinions, so no matter what you're saying, it's going to be offensive to somebody. Okay. How about you? I mean, there's a difference between like ideas that are different and like Nazis, so... And a commencement is a celebration of students' accomplishments and looking toward the future, not a political forum. It depends on the situation. I, I think uh, there's different ideas should be... Uh, Populated, uh, and uh, university. Uh, you're talking about universities. I'm, I'm assuming. Um, I, I think uh, there, there should be a different amount of ideas spread. Would you be okay with someone like, uh, say, Bill Maher or Kathy Griffin delivering a commencement address? Oh, oh I think I'd, I think I have to think that one over. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I think as long as it's not outrageous. Well, I know that Kathy Griffin had some heat for pictures with like a prop Trump head and that wouldn't be appropriate for a commencement, but she could have an appropriate commencement speech still. If the speaker is there to truly celebrate the accomplishments of students and their futures, why would they want to be divisive? Only if they have uh, equal representation from the other side. What about somebody like um, Kellyanne Conway or Mike Pence? I think that they could both do a really good job. I think that they still, I mean, a commencement versus like a political speech would be different. But yeah, there's a time and a place as long as it's not too out there, I think. I mean, as long as they aren't saying dangerous things or... Um, going too far off, they could give appropriate speeches also. If their delivery is such that they don't go too far into policy, mm -hmm. then, then fine. I think they have a right to be there, but if they are using it for a platform to espouse their politics, then I don't think that's the right place for them. Okay. Absolutely. So campusreform.org uh, did a study. They found that commencement speakers who identify as politically liberal outnumber commencement speakers who identify as politically conservative four to one. Are you okay with that disparity? I wish it was a little bit more equal mm -hmm. because I just think that that is a better, a better mix, especially for people coming out of school and getting ready to venture into the world. I think it's better to keep it a little bit more balanced. I think that, personally, I don't have an issue with it, but I could definitely see how someone who leans more conservatively could find that unfair. I feel like part of it could be like, you know, it's commencement speakers for like college graduates who are tend to be younger and more liberal leaning, so I can understand that there is a gap. Uh, wow, that's a... That's a big difference. It's well, I think there should be equal uh, uh, amount of information given on, from both, on both ends of the aisle. 
And just let me give you one example. Um, last year at the University of Baltimore's commencement address, students booed loudly and turned their backs on the commencement speaker who was Donald Trump's Secretary of Education, Betsy DeVos. Do you think that was appropriate or do you think that they should have heard what she had to say? I think it's always, I think it would have, in that case, I think it would have been better for them to be calm and listen to what she had to say unless she became really offensive. I could see how it would be seen as inappropriate and disrespectful. So I understand why they felt the need to make that statement. I believe they definitely should have heard what she had to say. You're, you're at a university to have a, a, a divergent of ideas. And uh, if you can't accept those ideas, well, how are you you're learning? The good news is, in the land of Lincoln, people really do value diverse opinions on university campuses. It's unfortunate that administrators don't follow their logic. <laughs>